You want to get Optifine, but you want to get it using Forge. In this video, we're going to show you exactly how to do that. First things first, we need to download Optifine. You can find it linked at the second link in the description down below, and that will take you here. This is up kind of getting Optifine without Forge, but it is the official download link, and it does have some troubleshooting tips that are helpful as well. Once you're here, go ahead and click on Download Optifine to go to Optifine's official download page. As of the time I'm releasing this video, Optifine is in a preview version, so you are going to need to go to Preview Versions, and then find the preview version that is of compatibility compatible with Forge. As you can see on the right hand side, Forge 52.0.10. It's important to remember this. We'll just come back to this page, but this will be used later. We can go ahead and click on Mirror here, and then click on Download, and Optifine will begin downloading. You may need to keep or save this file, and while it's downloading, how much from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz says SGH to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily add mods, plugins, or mod packs to your server, and truly customize your server any way that you want. Plus, you can play all those mods with your friends. And if there are any issues Issues along the way, there's expert live chat support there to help you out. So stop struggling to play Minecraft with your friends and start your Minecraft server the simple way at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash SGH. That is now downloaded. We now need to download Forge. Forge is obviously the mod loader we're going to use, so go ahead and go to the link in the description down below, and that will take you here. This is our in-depth guide on installing Forge in Minecraft. It covers everything step-by-step -step that you need to know. There's even a dedicated guide on getting Forge, but once you're here, go ahead and click Download Forge to go to the official Forge download page. Here we want to select on the left-hand side 1.21, and then 1.21.1 and then again we want to make sure that we're downloading the correct version so as you can see this is forge 52.0.10 right here now if we come back over to forge here that's not the case this is a different version. So we want to go down to show all versions here, and then we want to find this version, 52.0.10. You can see this number here is the same as what was listed on the Optifine download page here. Now, once we've done that, we can come back over here and click on the installer next to this version, and that will take us to add focus where stop. Don't click anything on this page whatsoever. Just put your hands in the air. Wait about 10 seconds. After about 10 seconds, in the top right, a red skip button will appear. So in the top right, go ahead and click on that skip button, and a file will need to download load should have Forge in the title, and as long as it does, you are safe to keep or save the file, right like so. Now we can minimize our browser and move both of these to our desktop. Now for me, these are going to be in my downloads folder, but for you, they'll be wherever files download to. So as you can see here, we have the Forge and Optifine versions there. We can drag those to our desktop. And now we actually want to start off with Forge here, not Optifine. So to do that, you want to go ahead and right-click on Forge, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. But what if you don't have Java here? Or you do, and you click OK, and it doesn't work. Well, as of Minecraft 1.21, you need Java 21. So in the description down below, we have this link, which is Java 21. Java 21 is required now for Minecraft 1.21 mods like Optifine, and this guide shows you everything you need to know to get it. You may also need to run the jar fix. It's going to take all the jar files like Optifine and Forge and link them back to Java, making them work happily together. But first, get Java 21, then run the jar fix. Now we can go ahead and right click on Forge, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. And that will open up the Forge 1.21 installer, where all you've got to do is click Install install client and click OK. And the only reason this wouldn't work is if Minecraft or the Minecraft launcher are open or if you've never played Minecraft 1.21.1 before. If that's the case, go play that version, just open it to the main menu, close out of it, come back and you'll be able to install Forge. Now we go ahead and click OK because Forge is successfully installed and we can actually delete Forge from our desktop. Now let's get Optifine installed. To do that, we want to open up the Minecraft launcher and then in the Minecraft launcher, what we're going to want to do is play Minecraft using our Forge installation. If you have an Optifine installation, ignore it completely. We want to use our Forge installation. So go to installations up here at the top, make sure modded is checked. As you can see, if it's not, Forge isn't there, but when we check modded, there it is, and it's Erosion 1.21.1. We're good to go ahead and play Minecraft with that, but if you don't have Forge here or don't have 1.21.1 Forge, click new installation. You can name it anything you want. I'm going to name it simplegamehosting.com because it's the easiest way to play Minecraft with your friends, and then go ahead and click the versions drop-down box here. Here we want to select release 1.21.1, and we want to make sure that it is the 52.0.10 version in this case. Your version's probably completely different and that's okay but that's the version we need for this version of Optifine. Now we can go ahead and create this profile and we have this new simplegamehosting.com profile that we can play Minecraft using and now the hard part's done. The hardest part of getting Optifine with Forge is getting Forge. Now that you have Forge, it's super easy to add Optifine to it. Let me show you once we're on the Minecraft main menu. From the Minecraft main menu, just go ahead and click on Mods here, and then click Open Mods Folder. Again, from the main menu, click Mods and Open Mods Folder. Then drag and drop Optifine into your Mods Folder, right like so. 
and it's that easy. Optifine's now installed, except it's not here. In order for it to actually work in Minecraft, you're gonna have to quit Minecraft. Then reopen Minecraft, playing with your Forge installation. Anytime you wanna play Optifine with Forge, you're gonna need to play with your Forge installation. And by the way, if you wanna add other mods alongside Optifine, you can do that. Just add them to the mods folder there, just like we did with Optifine. Drop them right in there, whether it's Bombs of Plenty or something like that, you can add them by dragging and dropping. It's worth noting some mods will break with Optifine though, so if you do run into weird graphic issues or anything like that, it could be because the mod's not compatible with Optifine. Now, there's a catch here. If we go to mods, Optifine's not here. Looks like it didn't work, but it did. Because Optifine's a very weird mod, and that, if you go to options and video settings, you will see all of Optifine's features, including shaders. Right here it is. I've got shaders installed. We'll go ahead and switch over to BSL shaders, and we will jump into our simple game hosting server here, just to show you that everything is, in fact, working, and we're good to go. Optifine's installed. The shaders are working all of that stuff. And like I said, if you wanted to add additional Forge mods alongside Optifine, just add them to your mods folder there and you'll be good to go. But we can see here, things are looking good and we can zoom in as well, right? That's an Optifine feature everyone loves. Pressing C to zoom and there it is. So if you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more incredible content every single day of the week. My name is Nick and we'll see you in the next video. I am out. Peace.